Alright, welcome back to these math placement review videos. Our next topic in the first group of lessons is basic behaviors. Just make sure I'm running on the screen. Basic behaviors. And here we're just going to talk about signed numbers and odd and even numbers. So let's begin with signed numbers. All right, by signed numbers, I just mean positive, negative. All right, first, if numbers have the same sign Add together and keep the sign. Now what does that mean? Well, I know 5 plus 3 is 8. 5 and 3 are both positive, so they have the same sign. I'm going to just add the values together which would be 8, and it's going to be positive 8 because both of them are positive. Likewise, minus 5 minus 3 is negative 8. 5 and 3 are both negative, so I just add the values together, which would be 8, and because they're both negative, I'm going to make it a negative 8. That's all that means. If the signs are different, subtract values, and keep sign of larger number. Keeping with the same ones we had before, 5 minus 3. Well, they have different signs. The 5 is positive, the 3 is negative. So this is going to be 2, and the 5 is, 5 is greater than 3, so I'm going to use the sign on the 5. If I did 3 minus 5, well, the answer here is still going to be 2, because 5 minus 3 is 2. But now the 5 is negative, and since 5 is bigger, that's the sign I'm going to go with. All right, one more set of examples. 4 minus 1 is going to be positive 3. Different signs. 4 is positive, 1 is negative. 4 is greater than 1, so I go with the sign on the 4. But if I switched it, I'm going to get negative 3. The 4 is now negative. 4 is still greater than 1. The 4 is negative, so I go with the sign on the 4. Alright, so both of these up here were for adding and subtracting. For multiplying and dividing. If signs are the same, answer is positive. So positive 3 divided by positive 1 is positive 3. Negative 3 divided by negative 1 is also positive 3. And the same thing for multiplication. Positive 3 times positive 1 is positive 3. 
negative 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Is, sorry, positive 3. And last but not least, if you haven't guessed it, if signs are different, answer is negative. Positive 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Doesn't matter that the 1 is bigger than the 3. Alright. Those are the rules for sign numbers. This one's also multiplying and dividing. If you haven't been able to tell by now, these are somewhat free-form notes, just kind of going off of what I've already had uh, written just going where it kind of takes me. So, now we also need to talk about odd and even numbers. All right, so I'm going to just make sure the papers are on straight. And we'll even go more specific, we'll say odd and even integers. Now remember from the previous video, integers are just positive and negative whole numbers. So, this, so these rules are going to apply whether the number is positive or negative. But what is an even number? What is an odd number? And I asked this a lot in my math placement review classes. And the answer I always get for an even number is 2, 4, 6, 8, which is good, but those are examples, not definitions. Remember, an even number is divisible by 2. And odd numbers are the opposite. predict the behavior of odd and even numbers, odd and even integers. Well, here's what we do. We say let n equal an integer. That means that it's either a positive or negative whole number. An even number would be 2n. Don't believe me? Pick an integer. Pick one. Two times one is two. That's even. Pick, an, uh, pick one that you know is even. Four. Two times four is eight. That's also even. And an odd integer is going to be 2n plus one. Now, we could use 2n minus one. Both of them would work. But we're going to just keep everything positive to make the math a little bit simpler. What happens when I add two even integers? two even numbers together. Even plus even. Well, I know an even is 2n, and the other even is also going to be 2n. Well, that means I have two 2n's. Two I can still rewrite this as 2 times some integer. 2 times an integer is still going to be an integer. So this is still 2 times some integer, which means it's going to be even. So an even plus an even is going to be an even number. What about odd plus odd? Well, let's substitute in like we did up here. 2n plus 1 plus 2n plus 1. I get 2 2n plus 1's, which is the same thing as 2n, which is also even. Now, some of this is number theory, and it's a little bit higher up than what typically is on the math placement, or even in some of the courses that you test into from the math placement. But it's always good to do a little bit of refreshing.
because I could see some teachers here, some professors here asking, you know, prove that two even numbers added together will be an even number. Well, here we go. We got it right here. Here's the trick, though. Even plus odd. Well, I have 2n plus 2n plus 1, which I have two 2n's, two and I'm adding 1 to them. So I can rewrite this as 2n like I did up here, but now I'm adding 1 to it. And that's the definition of an odd number. See, we're just going back up to here. So even plus even is even. Odd plus odd is even. And even plus odd is odd. The good thing about these is you can easily test them. Two even numbers, two and, two and six. Two plus six is eight, that's even. Two odd numbers, three and five. Three plus five is eight, that's even. Even and an odd, one and two. One plus two is three, that's odd. All right, so you can easily test these. Now, how about multiplying? What's an even times an even? All right, this is going to get a little bit higher up. So if you're not fun, so if you're having a little bit of trouble with this, don't feel afraid to send me an email. 2n times 2n is 4n squared which I can rewrite as 2 times 2n squared, which that's still an integer, so this value is even. How about odd times odd? So it's 2n plus 1 times 2n plus 1. And to do stuff like this, we'll get into in a later video, but basically I'm going to multiply this by both of those and this by both of those. So 2n times 2n is 2n is, sorry, 4n squared. 2n times plus 1 is plus 2n. Same thing there. Whoa. Sorry about that introduction, that brief little pause there. Plus 2n, and then the 1 plus 1 times 1 is 1. Alright, 4n squared plus 4n plus 1. I can pull 2 out from that. I have 2n squared plus 2n plus 1. See, I didn't pull anything out of that. I just kept those together. Well, again, I can rewrite this as 2n plus 1, which is an odd number. So, again, you can try them for yourself. 3 times 5, odd times odd, is 15. Even times even, 4 times 6 is 24, which is an even number. Alright, now for the hard one. What about even times odd? Well, let's see, we have 2n times 2n plus 1. Pull this up slightly. Well, same thing as before, I'm going to multiply this by both things in here. I get 4n squared plus 2n. I can pull 2 out of both of those. I have 2 times 2n squared plus n, which, I, which will be 2 times some integer which is even. So even times odd is even. Even times even is even. And odd times odd is odd. I think 
that's a good spot to end this video, especially with the little confusion we just had. So we have one more topic coming up, and that's just order of operations and going into stuff with that. So I'll see you in a bit.